and good morning everyone welcome back to uh, let's play a hat in time so as I was saying when I moved to it but I decided against um, you can see we need a certain amount of uh, power to open some of these areas so the next one looks like it's an area open is this one at four uh, we've also got 14 7 25 and I think that's it for the ones we can get to right now. There may be more uh, that are locked behind other doors, but we will find out later because uh, I think 15 to 25 is a good one. So this is the room we just unlocked. Uh, nice little kitchen. How did we make this many dishes if we were the only one on this spaceship? Oh, looks like we've got another drink. That's good. Uh, but nothing too, too important. Oh, it's a microwave. Use it to punish food that has been bad. Uh, there's a little bit, there's little things like that and I think all these rooms. So I wanted to see them. Unfortunately, it was just that one. I thought there'd be something in the bridge. No luck. But, chapter one, Mafia Town. We have finished Welcome Mafia Town and then there is Act 3 or Act 2. Well, The population is 379. Let's start the boss, I guess, the barrel battle. Because it is chapter one, act two. I mean, the mafia on the left, look how happy he is. He's just, he's just happy to be here. All right, so we have a little more exploring we can do in this part. I'm actually going to want to switch my hats uh, as soon as I can. So wall jump gets up here. And this would be, I guess, when you should go and get the uh, codes. I, oh, I don't have the other hat yet. I thought I was... Uh, I guess I'm one yarn away. Not the end of the world. Um, I don't foresee me being able to get that guy way off in the distance over there. Very blurry. But let's just get beaten up by a bird. Luckily, they, they expected me to. It looks like there's something important here. Oh, what is over here? Um, skulls, but we got the relic. Uh, it looks like a burger in the bottom of a bun, but, but so yeah, we're gonna have to keep an eye out for relics, which I assume aren't all going to be labeled as nicely as that one. Another thing we can blow up right over here, and that's just more bombs. There's also, we can break open that big orb of pawns, and it'll actually give us access to this line of room, which lifts up the steps so we can actually get back if we need to. And it gives us another yarn, which means we can actually make another hat. We're gonna, we're gonna stitch the sprint yarn. It's a good thing we have the explosives already. Uh, we're gonna equip it right off the bat, because its main purpose is to make us faster. Uh, allow us to sprint, I guess is the, the uh, term. So, we will take full advantage of it. Sorry, I keep hitting the opposite one. Uh, I could go help her. Alternatively, I want to explore a little bit, because there is someone I am looking for that I want to see, and with that we got a, another relic maybe? I don't know. Is that what's in these? Yes, we got a relic. It might match with others. So yeah, you can Mario your enemies, or you can hit them with the, um, what's it called? Umbrella. But we're going to explore the dock a bit, because why not? We're already basically here. And I know there is an easy uh, yarn to get. Unfortunately, 
Uh, we only have the two hats we can use even right now. We've only got the sprint and the um, brewer's yarn. And we've built both those hats, so we don't know any other hats we can make. I mean, we will get some in time, but we don't know any at this point. That darn seagull over there took my... I would have gone and done a belly dive over there. This belly is far too precious for sliding on. So we can get the camera over there, which is jump, jump, dive. Alternatively, you could choose whatever these blue things are and just potentially do it. We got the camera badge. So, he lost his camera, and we just apparently aren't planning on giving it back to him. I'd believe it. We seem like the type of person to do that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try to return it to him, because why not? It makes the most sense. You can see this timepiece was going to be really short, so that's why I've decided to do a little bit of exploring. You got my camera? Wow, thanks, kid. But I've actually got a ton of cameras in reserve. I, I don't need it. Well, all right then. I was just looking for an excuse to yell at seagulls. You can keep it. <laughs> an excuse to yell at seagulls. Interesting. But yeah, so now we have the first badge, which auto-equips. And we can sort of just uh, look around. It's a really bad spot um, to try that. But it does just give us a, a chance to take a better look at these areas. Oh. Excuse you. Stop beating up this old guy. Child is predictable. So you can see, some of the Mafia can actually light themselves on red fire. And that guy is free, so he gives us a lot of pawns for this. Which, eh, is alright. I hoped he would have given us something better, but we just saved an old guy, so I suppose that'll have to work. I can't actually read what the the word that's cut off. Oh, illegal. Yes, there's no illegal shipping here. Don't know where you got that idea. So we can't make the jump from the first to the second there. We've got to go off the second height and hit this balloon. Or miss the balloon entirely because um, we have very bad accuracy. However, oh, I was going to say we can hit the balloons here. Apparently no. No, we can't. So, jump and X should lock us onto it, but it didn't seem to. Oh, it looks like it's wanting us to go up this way, up to the right. Um, I'm going to continue up higher at this point. Um... I guess that's another way up, and there's the guy I'm actually looking for for this part. Um, there was one person who I did want to go see for sure today, and then we can head back and actually save um, the rebel leader, which is, I guess, kind of what uh, Mustache Girl's gonna be called, because, I mean, they're leading the rebellion, aren't they? But this guy, sorry, we just saw him for a half second, so... I'm, I'm excited because, I don't know, he looks just interesting enough that it's, it's definitely worth your trip to go see him, uh, if I can ever make it up to him. Uh, platformers are not my forte, but he's right there, uh, directly in front of us now, just shy of 200. I was hoping to hit 200 for him, but oh well. Oh wait, we have the brewer's hat. So, blow that up and get the few pawns that's going to kick out. Which is Hi enough there, for this guy. One. Hi there, young I one. Am from a far oh, he's deep. I've seen every corner of the earth, and now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You may call me the badge seller. 
for I sell and trade badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat. If you have money, of course. So that's why we've been collecting the bonds. We want to be able to buy things from this guy. Um, <laughs> plug your ears and now you can only hear vague bumbling. Automatically pull at your umbrella before deadly impact and automatically attracts near eye collectibles. I want the item magnet for sure. Um, I also want the umbrella safety one. Because deadly impact is annoying and you've seen I'm not very good at platforming. So. Unfortunately. I need to put back on the magnet. That's gonna save me a lot of time actually traveling. Since, see, the magnet does mean I don't have to directly touch the pond anymore. Uh, let's head back on our way. Not sure which one, so if you. Uh oh. Uh oh, my controller's acting up again. I hit the balloon, but so did he. Uh, he won, though. If you use the left trigger when you're in the original hat, you can lock in on the timepieces or whatever your next objective is. So we can see that Mustache Girl is over this way. That is our plan. We're going to head this way. All right, that's the one that we couldn't access before. little bit of water and we're there this super happy guy wants us to leave we're just not leaving we're just gonna stare in contest with them I guess no no child witness okay well I'm gonna stay awkward for mafia mafia not sure what to boss what do we do with eyewitness teacher lesson boys Teach her lesson, all right. So, X to actually attack these guys. And we're locked into this circle. We can't actually do anything further. So we're just gonna bash them with the umbrella, because apparently they haven't learned anything to stop that yet. Oh, there he is. So say, uh, you can't hit him with um, the umbrella if he is in that red mode, uh, but outside of that red mode, uh, you can just beat him with the umbrella and he's done. Enough! Alright. Prepare to feel Mafia's wrath. Alright, let's see the wrath of the Mafia. Um, spiky TNT? Heads up, little punk! This is the worst game of Donkey Kong I've ever played. Yes. We're just gonna, I guess, walk around. Because they're only gonna bounce one way or the other. Okay, I'll stand still. And you literally, you just have to sit and wait until all the barrels have exploded, and then he'll come down to fight you. Mafia need to take care of this mafia style. Mafia style, indeed. Mafia do to old ladies. Prepare to feel what mafia do to old ladies. Interesting. And he's basically exactly the same as the other ones, just with more health. Not prepared for us to jump. I was gonna say, I'm like, I hope I live this because I've been taking too many unnecessary hits there. Oh, and there it is. There is our timepiece. Gonna collect a little more bonds because they're right here. Uh, an enemy. There. I don't think we have any healing nearby. Oh. How limited the dress code around here? I'm not surprised this is boarded up. Yes, no tailors allowed. I thought that was a sealed door, so I didn't expect to. Okay, so here's what happens when you die. 
if you die after the timepiece, it just loads you back to the timepiece is here, why didn't you grab it? Which, honestly, might make it easier to actually go explore if you know that's going to be the case. Because you can go explore and then at the end of it just take enough damage that it does heal you and sends you back to the timepiece. Can you believe them? What a bunch of losers. Exactly, Mustache Girl, exactly. Hey, you're alright, new kid. Thank you. Do you have a name? It's, it's actually new kid. Um, surprisingly enough, no. it's the same you that happened shy? to me with uh, Final cool. Fantasy. You're a less talk, more fighting, fighting kind, kind of girl, girl I take, I take it. it. Alright. thing you grab there. Are you collecting them? Because I know where there's more of them. They've been raining from the sky ever since you arrived. I've seen the goons bring them to their headquarters way up there. Honestly, that's a pretty cool looking headquarters, being entirely honest. I mean, not sure if I like the green clouds up there. It would be fun to live up there, and it reminds me a lot of um, Minecraft places, because sometimes... I would build a, a castle in the sky just because, like, oh, nothing can get to me, and just left a water path up. But then, of course, the enemies could go into the water path and kind of float their way up to your place. So it is a bit of a um, issue in that case. We have an intruder alert um, who has broken into our base, and it's Mustache Girl. But we will go talk to them next time. Thank you all for watching this part of um, A Hat in Time, and I will see you guys next time for more Mafia. More Mafia and talking to Mustache Girl. See you guys then.